Hi, Therese. Good job. Okay, let's. I'm going to see what I can do about the zoom in here. I don't know if I can get it centered myself, so we'll give it a shot. But the the width, absolutely. Let me show you that to start with. Let's go to our view page source, our responsive.css, and I want you to change these numbers right here: 600, 600 px, and 643px. I want you to change all these to um, 769, so that way you'd have it in your tablet and portrait. That's an update I've been meaning to get to. So that way you can use the mobile view for tablets and portrait, and then when you flip it over to landscape view, it'll be the full site. So that way the user can decide what they prefer, right? They can have a mobile on portrait, sorry. So on the tablet and portrait, it'll be a mobile view. You flip it to landscape, it goes to the full page or the full screen. Okay, let's take a look at the... Um, uh, yeah, this, this, this right here. So let me see... What's going on with this fella? Zoom menu, top, so that's our responsive right there. Top is 150, width is 300. So let's just see, what if we did this 100%? Okay, and left zero. I just want to see what else is going on in here. Anything else? Zoom menu, 100%. Just trying to see what else we have going on here. So that's it. Okay, I'll go through my thought process here. First, we have to figure out how wide it is, right? And I did that by going into my... Let me just refresh the page here. Okay, because what we're going to have to do is figure out the width for the container, and then we're going to have to do a margin auto left, auto right. Okay. Uh, so the zoom menu here, because you see how we do that right here with the primary? Do, 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 zoom left and zoom right there. Um, so according to this, it should already be uh, centered, but it's not happening. So what's going on with that? We're going to go in here. There it is right there. Display block. Background. Aha. Uh -huh. This is it right here. Okay. So, it's telling me the actual class that holds the buttons. It's uh, 280 pixels wide, and it has a uh, margin right here. Okay, of zero, 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 zero. So what we're looking at, we've got this class right here. So it's already got a width of 280, that's fine. But the margin right here, so what we need to do is basically auto, uh, let's go margin. I want to change this to, oh, where did it go? Margin, if I'm left. Margin right, auto, and it's not doing a darn thing because we probably have to put these as important, important, and let's play with one more thing here. Like adding width uh, 300px, and it's still not working probably because it's all scripted and it's not not working through firebug here um, position to top left so the position is absolute right and the width is 280 so the width is going to have to be a hundred percent no it's not doing anything Right, so we want something like this. The thing is, problem is, as soon as you hover over it, it invokes a JavaScript, and it, as you saw, I had it centered. Then it goes off to the left again. That's because of the positioning and whatnot. So I'm not. I'm gonna have to dig into those entries. I don't have the answer. So even when I'm playing around with it, so I'll have to uh, see what we can do. But uh, 
it's the because once I hover over the bits and pieces, guess what? It resets and goes off the left again. So um, tweak the width for now, and I'll see what I can come up with.